This video is intended for eye surgeons for training and educational purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Is there a better way to make cataract incision? Hi, I'm Dr. Alexander Chen. In this video, I'm going to share with you the dual blade visco seal technique that I developed. This video won the best popularity award at the 2024 TSCRS video surgical competition. This technique describes the simultaneous creation of the side port incision and the main incision, followed by the visco seal technique. This enables the safe feeling of the anterior chamber with visco connected to a 27 gauge needle. In the rest of the video, I'll go into more detail on the dual blade visco seal technique. Let us now watch the video. Dual blade visco seal technique. How can I safely shorten my operative time? Keep watching. We are all familiar with making corneal incisions in a specific sequence and manner, where fixation ring, Q-tip, or forceps is used to stabilize the eye while making the side port. Visco elastic is injected into the anterior chamber, and main incision is then made while fixating the eye with the other hand. These steps may take more than one minute for many surgeons. With the help of experienced scrub technicians, experienced surgeons like Professor Uday Defkin takes about 48 seconds, Dr. Brian Kim takes about 1 minute and 13 seconds, and Dr. Pradeep Mohanta takes about 24 seconds to complete these steps. Personally, I don't have scrub techs who are familiar with ocular surgeries, so I handle my instruments all by myself. If you're like me, you'll want to learn my dual blade visco seal technique, a non-inferior skill that takes less than 30 seconds on average without sacrificing any safety. Here we go. I have the sideport knife in my left hand and the keratome in my right hand. I first make the sideport incision and without removing the sideport knife, I stabilize the eye to create the main incision without having viscoelastic material inside the anterior chamber. I then inject the viscoelastic material from the main incision, which saves a lot of time for young surgeons like me who struggle to find the side port that I have just made. That's probably another 6 seconds saved if you are not yet familiar with the location of your side port. There's one problem that I occasionally encounter. That is when viscoelastic material is pushed too slowly from the main incision, or my cannula is not angled correctly. A certain amount of anterior chamber shallowing may occur and an advertent contact with the anterior capsule or the endothelium may ensue. That's why I developed the second part of this technique. I call it the visceral seal technique, which is much simpler than it may sound. It only involves covering the main incision with viscoelastic material before entering the anterior chamber. I find this step very helpful for two reasons. One being that you're probably already used to pushing out viscoelastic material before entering the anterior chamber to make sure that the air bubbles are cleared out. But you usually apply the viscoelastic somewhere else. Now all you have to do is to place it specifically over the main incision. The second reason is that this technique reduces the speed of aqueous outflow by providing extra resistance at the main incision. So even if your cannula is angled incorrectly, there's less chance of anterior chamber collapse, with that the speed of collapse is drastically reduced. And here's how I handle my instruments without a technician to help me. I grab my instruments with both hands every time I reach for the mayo stand. When I exchange instruments, I do it in a similar fashion, where I drop both instruments down and pick up the next two instruments with both hands. Here I'll walk through my dual blade visco seal technique. To begin, I grab both instruments. I first create the side port incision, and while the side port knife is still in the anterior chamber, I use it to stabilize the eye and create the main incision with my keratome. Note that the angle of the two blades is different. Next, I drop both instruments and pick up the capsule rexus forceps with my left hand and viscoat with my right hand. I perform the visco seal technique by applying viscoelastic material over the main incision before entering the anterior chamber. Here's another tip. I don't recommend inserting the cannula all the way to the opposite end of the main incision, as this requires correct angling of the cannula to avoid collapsing of the anterior chamber or inadvertent trauma. I like to place it approximately at the center of the anterior chamber, where there is maximum distance between the endothelium and the anterior capsule. I also recommend commencing viscoelastic injection right away instead of injecting after you've reached the correct position. I find it more effective in terms of the anterior chamber stability and efficiency. And finally, this is a direct comparison of the speed of my dual blade visco seal technique with a few of my YouTube cataract mentors like Professor Uday Defkin, Dr. Brian Kim, and Dr. Pradeep Mohanta. Note that there are very experienced and renowned surgeons with very steady hands, smooth transitions, and highly synchronized with their scrub technicians. On the contrary, I don't have a technician and I'm a relatively young surgeon. 
but with this dual blade visco seal technique, I'm able to shorten the time spent on these steps without sacrificing safety and without relearning anything. You're simply changing the sequence of surgical steps that you have been taught during your surgical training. I hope you find this technique useful. Thanks for watching. Now I'll go into more detail on the dual blade visco seal technique. So I want to stress that this is incredibly efficient and a safe method to perform. So let's first look at how Professor Uday Devkin performs his cataract incisions. So first he creates the side port incision followed by intracameral lidocaine and then he injects the viscoat uh, connected to a 27 gauge needle. And then uh, he creates the main incision with a steel keratome. And because he is incredibly efficient, uh, it only took about 32 seconds, while most of the surgeons take about one minute. This uh, kind of sequence is how most surgeons perform their incisions. Let's look at something different. So this is how Dr. Neto Rossatelli performs his cataract incisions. He first makes the main incision with this diamond keratome, and notice how he has the dull edges on the side of this diamond blade. Then he performs the side point incision with a diamond side point knife uh, about 90 degrees away. Then he injects intracameral lidocaine uh, followed by HPMC connected to a 25 gauge needle. And as you can see, there was a little thin fold when he injects the uh, HPMC. This implies that the anterior chamber slightly collapsed. Now let's look at how uh, Dr. Pradeep Mohanta, who is known for the submarine chop, performs his cataract incisions. So he first creates the main incision with a steel keratome, followed by intra, uh, uh, injection of HPMC connected to a 25 gauge needle. Then he creates the side port incision. Because it's incredibly fast, he completes all these steps within 31 seconds. Now let's take a look at my uh, dual blade visco cell technique. So I first create the side port incision followed by the main incision. And then I perform what's called the visco cell technique before I enter the anterior chamber to inject a visco connected to a 27 gauge needle. And here I want to show you uh, six consecutive videos uh, in real time speed uh, to show how efficient and safe this uh, dual blade visco cell technique is. Let's take a look. So first I create the side port uh, with the side port knife and then I create the main incision with a steel keratome. And you can see that the angles of the two blades are different. Now I perform the visco seal technique which is just painting the main incision with a uh, with, with visco before entering the eye. Now I want to stress that I perform these uh, steps very carefully and slowly. As you can see I'm not in a rush and here I wanted you to focus on the visco seal technique. So I, I cover the main incision and as you can see the aqueous came, uh, came out, but the anterior chamber did not shallow at all. You don't see the uh, DM folds. So that, that means the, the anterior chamber is actually quite stable. And so uh, have you ever thought about why uh, when you use visco, you rarely see people um, inject visco from the main incision. That is because uh, visco is connected to a 27 gauge needle. And first of all, visco disperses very slowly. So it goes into uh, in, in a spaghetti type of uh, pattern when you inject it into the anterior chamber. So it doesn't fill the anterior chamber fast enough. And oftentimes you'll see a slight collapse of the anterior chamber if you were to inject visco from the main incision. This is why the uh, technique is so unique because the visco seal technique decreases the speed of aqueous alpha and allows you to safely inject visco connected to a 27 gauge needle from the main incision safely and efficiently. So what is the benefit of learning this technique? So for example, if you took uh, one minute to perform the surgery, now it only takes about 30 seconds. That means you save about 30 seconds per surgery. If you times that by 40 surgeries per month, uh, that's about four hours per year saved. So you can probably spend another, you know, four hours per year with your toddler at home. And isn't that great? And some people are like, no, I'm not gonna learn this technique anymore. But come on, you can spend that four hours doing something else, doing something more efficient, you know, improving your surgery and whatnot. So 
uh, I encourage you and I challenge you to learn this technique, to try this out. You know, this uh, dual blade viscose cell technique uh, comprises of three components. First, the dual blade, followed by the viscose cell technique, and then that in allows you to inject uh, visco connected to a 27 gauge needle from the main wound. And so promise me you will try this DBV technique and I promise you will succeed and be rewarded. So thank you for watching this video. If you have learned something from this video, please like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.